Hi, I'm Patrick Orman, AMGA instructor team member, and today we're looking at drilling a V-thread. For this scenario, because I'm standing on flat grounds, uh, keep in mind that I'm not anchored in at all. So the first thing I want to do is find the best possible piece of ice. Uh, this is good here where we're well attached. It's got good, consistent color to it. It's not white and aerated. And another nice feature of this is that it's a bit of a convexity. So that's going to allow me to drill the holes without having to clear a lot of ice to make room for the hangers. I'm going to use my longest screw. It's a 21 centimeter. And this is just going straight in. Okay, nice consistency there. So I drill that all the way in. As I'm cleaning the screw, I'm gonna make sure to keep any ice that's coming out of the hole clear. So I can blow that out. And then when I pull the screw out, I'll make sure to get all the ice out of there. So now for the second hole, I'm going to measure over a screw length and start in about there. And what I like to do is sight down the first hole so that I make sure that I have the correct angle um, for my second hole. So it should be pretty good. If I need to change it, I can lever on the screw up or down. But I look pretty well lined up. All right, I hit it just about in the back. So the same thing when I pull this screw out, I'm going to try to keep the hole clear of ice particles. And carefully take this out. So I've got my holes drilled and I, do, I have a piece of cord all ready to go. So I'm going to thread this in here. Got that. And I'm going to tie this off with a double fisherman. Okay, looks good. So now I can thread my rope. Keep in mind that I don't have any metal on here, no quick link or carabiner, so I'm rope on, on cord. This is kind of a one-time use thing. And if you find an existing thread that's, uh, that you're going to plan on using, make sure that, that you can examine the whole thing. Okay, if you see any wear marks, burn marks, you're going to be better off just building a new thread. Remember to tie knots in the end of your ropes. This is barrel knot there. All right, and then I can thread it through to the middle. Get to my middle mark. And then the last thing I want to do is back this up and I'll test it before I wrap. I want to back up the rope rather than the cord. So I'm going to use my locking quick draw here. Clip that in. And ideally, the backup has no slack in it. 
but it's not taking any weight. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm testing my V-thread. So I can measure over, figure out, figure out about where I need to be. Lock those. And that's about perfect there. It's not taking weight. That's our V-thread. So most of the time now, when I drill a V-thread, I'm not leaving cord anymore. I'm just threading the rope directly through the holes. This is great because there's no trash to melt out in the spring, and I'm not worried about using an old thread that may be burned through partially. So rope, twin, half, single, they all feed well. About the only time that I don't do it is really cold temperatures, like negative temperatures, and with wet ice. That's, you might run into a problem with the rope freezing in, but otherwise, I call this the zero thread. It's nice when doing a zero thread to have a, a V-thread tool without a hook so that it's not snagging the sheath of the rope and tearing that up. It can be a little harder to, fit, to pull the rope through, but the end savings of not leaving cord is worth that trouble. Okay, remember to put knots in the end of the rope, close the system. And then I'll feed through to my middle mark. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna back this up just like I did with the cord. So I'm clip my locker draw in and measure. Remember, I don't want this taking weight, but I don't want slack in the system. So somewhere in here. There we go. Clip that in. All right, we're all backed up, so that's how we do a zero thread. Nice, clean, efficient anchor.